メイ愛してるロマンスアニメ comes in various categories happy anime, sad anime, love stories with more drama or sometimes love stories just played for laughs Today, I'm going to speak of something different. In this video, let's dive into 10 kawaii anime that will melt your heart with its wholesomeness. Here we go! When you can't get a real life girlfriend, you turn into 2D girlfriends. This is about Hikari Tutsui, whose life revolves around video games, visual novels, and 2D girls. One day while cleaning the swimming pool, he meets Iroha Igarashi, an exact female version of him. She has no friends and prefers to stay alone most of the time. No need to say, a love strikes between these two, with both being social outcasts and both slowly starting to like each other. It's based on a popular manga of the same name, and even though the first few episodes may be a little slow paced, you'll soon start to like it. It has a second season as well, so if you like a long show to binge watch, then here's the anime for you. <laughs> Love isn't based on appearances. Will you ever believe if I say the fattest and largest boy in the class would fall for the cutest girl in the school? Ore Monogatari is the story of such a romance. Takio Goda is large, muscular, and is definitely the guy you would hire as your bodyguard. But despite all this, he has a heart of gold and helps his friend Makoto Sunokawa to get girls. Yes, even the ones Goda likes. One day, he saves cute and angelic Rinko Yamato and thinks that she would fall in love with Sunakwa as well. He hopes to act as her Cupid, hoping to help her find love. But in truth, he is in love with her as well. The romance here is what generates the kawaii factor. I mean, come on, a big large dude falling in love with a cute, angelic girl? Isn't that cute? <laughs> here we have a socially withdrawn girl falling in love with the most popular boy. Mei Tachibana has been wrongfully accused for the death of their class pet, and now she distances herself from social relationships in fear of misunderstandings. But things change when she meets Yamato Kurosawa. After an accidental kiss, she begins to develop feelings for him, and the story continues on how their relationship develops, despite the contrasting personality of these two. Similar to Ore Monogatari, the relationship and its build up will definitely give a wholesome feeling to your heart. And it is definitely is more reliable to anime fans who have personalities similar to the main characters. Besides, you'll realize the words I love you has a lot of meaning behind them. <sighs> Finding no school club they truly fit in, five students decide to make their own club dubbed the Student Cultural Research Club. There are five students, two boys and three girls, and even though they're friends, each of them hide a darker secret related to themselves or their past. Now all is smiles and laughs until the five of them begin to switch bodies. Secrets are revealed, troubled pasts haunt them back, and amid all of these, the five friends begin to bond together. A new romance blossoms, and the five friends soon begin to understand each other more and more. Kokoro Connect may be a more harder slice of life show than others on this list, but its romance and kawaii factor is right there for you to enjoy. Let's move on to a more traditional romance with Snow White with the red hair. Shirayuki is a cheerful red haired girl living in the country of Tanbaran, working as an apothecary. But once the prince of the country, Raji, gets her attention, he immediately forces her to become his concubine. When things get worse and Shirayuki decides to run away, she is saved by Prince Zen. The anime then explores her life in Zen's palace as she tries to be better as an apothecary, as well as to help her newfound love. If you need that charming prince and average girl romance story, then this anime would fit perfectly to your watch list. We all love wolf girls, right? Well, here's a love story between a wolf girl and a merchant, so you're sure going to love it. This is about a powerful wolf deity named Holo. 
She was a well-respected deity back in the day, but now nobody cares about her and she needs to move back to the town of Yotsu. To do that, she befriends a merchant named Kraft Lawrence, and in return to becoming his business partner, Holo asks him to take her to the town of Yotsu. Kraft, being a merchant, sees this as an opportunity due to Holo's ability to understand a person's character. It is a love story of all sorts, and even though it may be a little slow-paced, Spice and Wolf is a mixture of elaborate schemes, sharp humor, and witty dialogue. You'll start the show thinking it's a love story, but wait for it to evolve into something more. Clanad is going to be an emotional roller coaster, but there are scenes in the anime that will give you a load of wholesomeness and emotionality. This is about Tomoya Okozaki who wastes his high school days by acting like a delinquent. Things change when he meets Nagisa Furukawa and joins her drama club. Now with the help of several other girls, Tomoya's life-changing story begins. Now don't confuse this anime with its sequel Clanad After Story, because while Clanad is cute and all, the after story can bring you to tears and take you on an emotional wild ride. And as a person who has watched Clanad and its sequels, I can say for certain that this is one of the life-changing anime I've watched. Here we have a love story between a human and a deity, plus a fresh spin to the romance trope. Nanami Momozono is kicked out of her house after her father spends all his money on gambling and thanks to her good luck, a man named Mikage offers her to stay at his house after she saves him from a dog. Nanami agrees but soon learns Mikage used to be the earth deity and now has awarded the position to her. She meets Tomoye, Mikage's familiar and learns that he isn't the best person to be with, but secretly she falls in love with him. Tomoye, on the other hand, forbids any romance between deities but secretly harbors feeling for Nanami as well. It also uses the good girl bad boy trope, so if you like that, you'll definitely like this. <sighs> what happens when the cute girl in the class looks like she is about to kill a person? This is the case with Sawako, who is dubbed as Sudoku but in truth, Sawako is innocent and has a desperate urge to make friends as well as to get close to Kazehaya, the cheerful popular boy of the school. She plans to do this during the test of courage and during that test, she not only plans to befriend Kazekaya but also to make new friends as well. Little does she know how much change her plans would bring to the lives of her new friends. Kimi Nitoroke's animation and story screams the word kawaii and it is a love story that you'll definitely binge watch. Among all the slice of life romance anime that is being released, there's going to be one show that hits all the chords right, and Fruits Basket is that anime. This is the story of Toru Honda, a high school girl who gets to know the existence of a Soma family who can transform into beasts related to the Chinese zodiac. Soon she develops a tight bond with the Soma family and becomes great friends with Yuki and Keio, another two boys of her age. Now this may not seem melancholic as Clannad, but Fruits Basket has its own way of delivering some great drama mixed in with its themes and characters. The narrative follows along as Toru, because of her own caring nature, slowly heals the emotional wounds of the Soma family and sometimes face the consequences of it. If you need a kawaii romance, emotional love story, bad boy good girl trope, or any other thing you could ask for in a romance anime, Fruits Basket has got your back. So, which anime are you planning to watch? Let me know in the comments section below and don't forget to mention some anime I missed. As usual, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell notification to be updated about our videos. That's it for today anime fans and I'll see you in the next video.